Since this afternoon, en route to reopening the club's superstore, he's certainly not thinking about Wednesday's UEFA Cup return leg. Before that, there's Sunday to get through, and despite the 13-point gap, players won't be rested. Uh, league champions this season give you an automatic entry into the Champions League, and that's what you're aiming for. You're trying to win the championship, and uh, so the Livingston game is very, very important for us. And... Um, well, you mentioned we'll see how people come out of it on uh, uh, tomorrow morning, but that's that's top of our priorities at the moment. Priority last night was to Plichy and Celtic started this one at quite a rate. Within two minutes, they were ahead as Alan Thompson sent Henrik Larsson on his way. And just ten minutes later, Celtic were two up. Thomas Hunol tried to head the ball back to his own goalkeeper, but Chris Sutton got there first. Celtic looked less than sharp at times last night, but at the death, Henrik Larsson produced as he headed in from Petrov's corner, with the goal making life a lot easier when they go to the Czech Republic next week. We've been in, in enough away grounds now to know how difficult these matches are. and But we'll be going positively. We want to think that we want to try and score a goal at some stage in proceedings. And if we're capable of doing that, which I think we are, it might not materialise, but we're certainly capable of scoring. Before that, as O'Neill says, Celtic faced Livingston in the league, but they could still be without John Hartson. He's suffered a reoccurrence of his back injury. And Professor Dick Advocate by signing Dutchman Frank de Boer and giving him match practice ahead of Euro 2004. Berg's comments come as Rangers, beaten at Dundee United yesterday, try to lift themselves for a tenant Scottish Cup quarter final meeting with a Celtic side who've blown apart their rivals' title defence. What Rangers didn't need after the trauma of Tanadice was rebellion in the ranks. Veteran defender Henning Berg was left out yesterday against Dundee United and told a Norwegian newspaper he's angry he doesn't play more often and disagrees with the way Alec McLeish picks the team. Berg says he's baffled by the short-term signing of Frank de Boer and concerned about the influence over McLeish exerted by Dutch coach Dick Advocat. A central defender was the last thing we needed, said Berg. He said he had talked to Advocat before doing it. I can understand that Advocat wants to have de Boer fit for Euro 2004, I thought the most important thing for Rangers was to win, not to do Frank de Boer a favour. Rangers didn't win yesterday. In fact, they were badly beaten. They were second best to Dundee United all over the pitch. Mark Kerr made... Advocate by signing Dutchman Frank 